Trying to confuse the eyes of the defense. On third and four. Drones keeps it. Has a whole lot of green in front of him. Cuts it back inside. He's tough to bring down. And he shows it on that run inside the red zone. 11 straights coming into this game. Good snap. Good hold. Thank heavens he made the kick. This time to give to Hollins. Gets it outside. Nowhere to go. Another TFL for this Virginia Tech defense. They've been racking them up all year. Picked up three yards, a little bit more on first down. Pass to Malachi Thomas, dropped for a loss. Drones is going to keep it and throw it. And he's got a man wide open inside the 20. That's Gosnell, and he scores. Wow, what a play and a fourth down. How about the gutsy call from offensive coordinator Tyler Bowen? Got Malachi Thomas in the backfield with him. Virginia showing some pressure. It's picked up. Jones has a receiver. His tight end way downfield and right makes the catch in Wahoo territory. Putting down that hash against these safeties. Double reverse. Holloway. Has blockers in front of him, including Drones. Inside the 10, he's going to score. Well, how about that? Again, eye movement. You get the defense moving one way, you counter back the other way. And Kyron Drones out there with the big boys trying to lead the way. And I told him, if you do one thing for me, beat Virginia Tech just so I have bragging rights over my mom. So I think they're taking that into this, the second half. There you go. All right, well, I'll follow up with Coach at halftime. Well, Ronde, congratulations. We appreciate the time. Thank you. Calandria to throw. Steps up into the pocket. Intercepted. Delane taking it the other way. Inside the 20. The hike back for Virginia. Empty backfield for Drones. He's going to keep it. And he gets pushed back. Oahu stands tall inside the 10. Ball may have come out, too. And it did. And Virginia wow. makes the recovery. It's somebody in white putting pressure on Calandri on every single snap. This time up the middle. Pollard gets him. Third and one. Virginia's defense makes the play, and it's Jonas Sanker in the backfield. Dropping Tootin for a loss. Fourth down. Not holding any punches in this game. Pitch to Tootin. Got blockers in front of him. Speed the bird. Inside the 10. You know, Tootin, Mark. <laughs> All Hokies here in Charlottesville. He woke up feeling the cheesiest, Chris. How about that? Nice run on the toss. This Virginia Tech team. Two plays to get it into the end zone. Just blocks on the outside by the wide receivers. Stephen Gosnell, number 12, got a big one. Boom, good block. And, you know, just way, way too porous. Virginia Tech brings four. They get pressure, but he finds a receiver inside the 20. It'll be another first down. Fields made the catch in the red zone for the first time today. Calandria can run. Instead, he gets tackled for a loss. Cole Nelson brings him down. Let's not forget Virginia gets the ball to start the second half so they can continue with this momentum into half. And on the other side, pressure. Calandria forced out of the pocket. He's going to be dropped. Big loss on the play. Nelson got there. But Virginia Tech is dominated in this game. That is correct. And they continue to do so here. Felton. He's their big play threat in the passing game. And he's going to convert a big play here. 84 yards. The Hokies continue to pour it on here in Charlottesville. <laughs> Me out. When things are going your way, they're going your way. This was way, way too easy 
for Virginia Tech. And you see Jonas Sanker made a last ditch effort at swiping at the feet, but wasn't really the deep ball, but big play. Virginia Tech defensive front being greasy might help. Calandria has time, steps up, has a oh, man wide open. Go. Washington inside the 35 for the first time today. He's able to run after the catch. 17 of 20 on the year. He's going to try it from 25 yards. Good snap, good hold. Betridge is true. Tube's going to be able to return this Ganyard kick. Got a blocker in front of him. Gets the corner, and he's gone. Basial Tunes starts celebrating at the 30-yard line. 94 yards. What a day for Basial Tootin. Flags fly all over the place as he found a gaggle of Hokie fans in the end zone, and they celebrate together. It's not funny, but it's impressive. And right here, look, like, that's... That's someone who's ran track. I mean, he just pulled away from everybody on that cover team. This right here, when he gets it outside, he just runs away from five, six, seven Wahoos. Yep. He just go. He just. He just goes. <laughs> he's fourth in the ACC, and you know he's telling himself right now. All right, I can do that too. Just give me a chance. Just kick away from him. And they don't. <laughs> Ethan Davies from his twenty-one. Davies with a good return. It's hit at midfield, brought down. This is the deep safety. He's cheating down in the box. Play fake. Calandria going for fields. He's got him. Touchdown, Wahoos. All right, Chris. There you go, Mr. Prediction. And that's it, right? You know you're going to pick up a one yard on fourth down. Might as well try the shot on third down and one. No one has questioned Anthony Calandria's toughness after this game. Bam! He gets banged and really throws a nice ball, right? Because there is the corner from the other side, Dorian Strong, that if he puts it too far out in front. Give to Tootin. Oh, bye-bye. He's got one man to beat. Does it on the inside. Can he get a block? He gets caught from behind. Jonas Sanker caught him. With that 46 yarder at BC earlier this year. This one looks good, and it is. Pitch to pace. He's got nowhere to go. Pain, APR. They fought back to make it a game. They had an onside kick with less than two minutes left to go to potentially get a game-tying drive. And I think they carried that momentum into this week. Yeah, you know, I think they did. And, you know, I think it, it means something to them. It's a rivalry game. They felt like they were playing well. So I would prefer to watch that over any other Christmas movie. Yes. Although Love Actually is all right. Love Actually is good. Yes. There probably is a Christmas scene in one of the eight movies. Adding to his big day. But he's averaging 44 yards a catch. Uh, this one right here may have dropped his average. Yeah, it's too short. Good stiff arm, though, on Sanker. Yeah, and you see, you know, stiff arm says, and honestly, Sanker does a pretty good job of trying to stay with him, but. That's, that's tough. Payne. Chasing Calandria oh, now gets man. him from behind. <laughs> Just converted the linebacker. Calandria now pressure on the edge. Gets it to Washington. Lowers his shoulder. Still on his feet inside the five. Wow. Leak Washington. You used fields for number eight at the top of your screen, but really everything else number four can do. Calandria is going to roll. 
to Fields, who goes up and brings it down. Yeah, that's what he does. <laughs> they got a guy for that. So let's let that guy do that thing. And right, you know, I you know, kind of said, hey, let's keep the ball on the ground and protect their quarterback. But that last drive, and really this whole fourth quarter, they have kept the ball. 15 rushes, kind of a short yardage runner for them. Now Ty Thomas on the carry. Still on his feet. Good run. Give him 11 yards. First down. Wells, of course, transferred in for Marshall. 50 yards rushing on the day. Pitch to Thomas. Virginia defense is ready for him. I'm going to shout him out nonetheless. Job well done. Yeah. Thomas looking to sidestep his way into the end zone, and he does. Well, I don't know if you can hear the intense yeses and cheering directly next to us in the booth. <laughs> And that's Malachi Thomas's second rushing touchdown. Fake to Greasy. Raymond's going to throw. No, he's going to pull it down. It's brought down at the line of scrimmage. Guess who? Darius Payne. Played much better in the second half of the year as the clock ticks down. And Coach Pride. A little damp from that Gatorade bath, but happy nonetheless as he and Tony Elliott meet in the middle of the field.